I'm shifting from a purely gaming focused channel into a vlog channel with content like this. Everyone else does home improvements in a skirt and thigh highs too, right? You didn't learn how to cook. Wild boar. I love him so much. You're now six months old. So your balls gotta go. You're so cute. I've decided I'm gonna hang up this first painting finally. I'm gonna just put nails into studs by knocking on the wall. This is the Kristen way. I got a nice Ikea kit. And there is a screwdriver in this. I guess I could screw a screw into the stud. Wow, first guess. So where do I want it to go? Right about there. Okay, so let's just find some. How high do I want it? I think I want it pretty high. Okay, these look like some strong screws. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that in the wall that deep. But I mean, it feels pretty secure. All right. <laughs> There's a. <laughs> Six feet. Okay, I'm gonna lock that and then we're gonna go over here and do the other one. I mean, I think that's about it. Everyone else does home improvements in a skirt and thigh highs too, right? I don't really want the whole weight of the painting to be on that one, so. Hang in there, man! Hang in there! I've got a friend for you! Oh, it's definitely too wide. Wait. Ha! <laughs> da -da -da! Oh my god, I'm like legitimately proud of myself right now. It looks, looks a little too high when it's on the wall, doesn't it? You know, it's a high horse, okay? Get on your high horse, Kristen, because you just motherfucking did it! Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. It's the little things. I bought this at my local grocery store. So, brown the meat, and then I'm gonna cut some onions and put some onions in there with it, and then some garlic. I'm gonna wait a little bit for it to get hot. I have never cooked with this ingredient before, and I, I just don't know how it's gonna turn out, but stay tuned. Just absolutely amazed with the quality of this camera now. You guys will just have to get used to my blemishes. <laughs> I've been drinking a lot of tea lately. One of my favorite tea is bone tea, or bone broth tea, they call it. I don't think anyone else calls it that, but it's great. Uh, I like to add ginger to it, and I'm gonna get some ginger up and add it to my tea. Cutting ginger. I made this gluten-free cookie that you don't have to bake. It's a whole bar of dark chocolate, grass-fed butter, walnut milk, mm, vanilla, 
oats, and then I cut up a bunch of hazelnuts into it. And a little maple syrup for sugar. Put them in big balls, put them in the fridge. Oh, and there's peanut butter in it too. And some coconut oil in the pan, or a plate. They're delicious, I've eaten all of them in a day. <laughs> okay, I think the pan is hot. We're gonna grab a type. Right. And put it in. Does this one taste like pork, you think? I've actually stopped eating farmed pork and beef. I'll brown the onions in this fat. I hope this is good. A shot of yuri. And the meat. I'm gonna add the salt and pepper now. Pepper! Oh my god, perfect. The power of a tripod. Let's do three onions, the rest of the carrots, the rest of that garlic. So we're gonna get this onion cooking. As those onions are browning, I'm gonna cut garlic. Onions are browning. I think it was a great idea to use that fat for this. Garlic. And the chicken bone broth. Nice brown onions and garlic. It looks and smells pretty good. I'm gonna add some tamari and Worcester sauce. I think I have a flavor that I'd like to go for. I'm gonna leave it to cook the rest of the meat and the carrots. I'm gonna sip this in the meantime. Bone broth with a hint of ginger. Got my bed jet on. It smells like fresh laundry. I added some lavender. I'm gonna hop in bed, watch some YouTube videos, and cuddle Pita. I know I said I was getting into bed to watch <laughs> my iPad YouTube videos. I have now cleaned the entire house, vacuumed, wiped everything, unloaded and loaded the dishwasher, checked on the food, and now I've got some snacks, and I'm gonna be drinking some roasted dandelion tea. My favorite snacks are dates. I like this spreadum. It's a cashew cheese, chives and garlic. It's like a nice little paste and I eat it with these green crisps, which are super greens. Let me read you these ingredients. BC apples, local garden greens, kale, spinach, Swiss chard, broccoli, mizuna, tat soy, ground flax seeds, coconut, lemon juice, sprouted pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, dates, pure ocean aquifer sea salt, ginger powder, and cinnamon. And they just taste great. I just want to have cuddle time, Pita. Look at my little family. We got snacks. And this is what my afternoon nap looks like. A little bit of a detour, but anywho, since it's the new year, I thought I would go over my resolutions that I made last year. Okay, so it has three minutes to go. Let's taste it. Got a spoon. Oh my god. Am I a master chef? Mm. Could use a little more tamari. I might add a couple more squares of Worcester. Mm. Wow. Yes! <laughs> a victory! It's a little bit crumbly, but the flavor is so good. And like when it hits my tongue and it's in my body, it's like soul nourishing. Like I feel it in my spirit. Um, okay, I did two more sprays of Worcester. And I'm gonna pour maybe like a tablespoon, a little more. 
Two tablespoons of tamari in. I don't know what to call this. <laughs> Carrots, wild boar, onions, garlic, chicken, bone broth, tamari, Worcester sauce, salt, pepper. I added some thyme too. I think that's what I'm noticing is like really soul refreshing right now. Oh my god, this broth looks so juicy and delicious. This would probably be enough food for like four people. Okay, while I'm enjoying my wild mother freaking crafted boar, I look out Yuri's chomping on a freaking frozen bird. Yuri, no wild crafting. Yuri, come here. Uh, oh, it's crunching. Yuri. This is the perfect time to talk about the power we have when we have to do something, okay? Parents understand this. Pet owners understand this. People who live alone in apartments understand this. When you have to do something, when you have to let that spider out of your home, when you have to stop your animal from doing something, when you have to clean something up that's really gross, like when you don't have someone else that you can get to do it, like a boyfriend or a parent or something like that, there's this energy where you're just like, fuck it. You like push the emotions aside and you just do it. I lately have been tapping into that and deciding like, Wait, can that be my energy all the time? Like, can I always assume there's no one else that can do something for me and I just have to do it and I can do it with a smile? And I'm gonna freaking not even put pants on for it either. I'm doing it my way. I've got a bag and a glove. I figured I would wear the glove because I don't want to feel the temperature of the bird. I don't want to do this, but I can. Cause I'm a mother freaking superhero. And you know what? I'm not even gonna wear shoes. Oh my God, I don't think it has a head. Okay, because there's children that live in my neighborhood, I put my pants on. I'm still gonna do this barefoot. More snow walking. Crunch, crunch, I hope you can hear that crunching. Little dirt area here. Okay, here we go. Rest in peace, beautiful bird. Thank you for your incredible life. May you be expanded and brought forth to paradise and pleasure and in peace. All right, after that funeral, I'm hungry. <laughs> just, just kidding. Um, okay, let's try uh, my soup. Give it a good time to cool down now. It's not really soup. Is this a stew? Dear God, universe, cosmic father, whatever anyone watching this may call God. Thank you so much for this food. Thank you, Boar, for living a great wild life. And now I get to enjoy you and use you as sustenance in my body. Thank you, carrots and onions and garlic and all the farmers that went in for making this meal. May this food enter my body and just bring so much nourishment and light and love. This was crafted with love and I promise that I will use all of these nutrients to sustain love, to be loved, to live in love, and treat everyone with love. So thank you. This is delicious. And to be honest, I even lost my appetite a bit, but now I've regained it. Mm. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, don't forget to subscribe, spank that thumbs up, and leave me a comment down below. Anytime you interact and engage with my videos, it really helps the channel. And especially because I'm shifting from a purely gaming focused channel into a vlog channel with content like this, I need your help to find new people that are gonna be interested in this type of video. So everything they do really does help and support the channel and I appreciate that. I love you. I'll see you in the next video.